Now, Palmer are missing the man who made their name last year, Alessandro Melli. And despite only one defeat all season, Palmer are well off the pace at the top because of seven draws in ten games so far. For Inter, Walter Zenga is back in goal, but Bergami and Bianchi are out injured. Jürgen Klinsmann has yet to score a goal this season, a run that must end soon, surely. Now, we must apologise at this stage, not for Inter Milan, but for interference, which may spoil your enjoyment for the opening minutes of this coverage. Our commentator is Rob Hawthorne. Referee Alfredo Trantalonji starts the game off. It's Inter who kick off. And Battistini picking up the ball on the right-hand side. Short ball back to Ferry. He's the captain today in the absence of Bagomi. There's Baggio. Back to Ferry. Here's Bremer. And Fontelan in an early challenge with Benarivo. Just two points separating the teams before this match. And Inter looking for a good result before next week's Milan derby. Agostini getting in there. And this is Kuogi. Mateus. Early challenge on him from Zarato. The referee will have a little word with Daniele Zarato. The pitch has suffered a little bit as a result of the rain. Ball played through looking for Klinsman. That was Osio at the back covering. Good crowd here. Good to see that the weather hasn't dampened their enthusiasm for the game. Apolloni and Grun between them, covering at the back. Here's Benarivo. Mateus. A oh, good turn by Benarivo. Some good defending, though. They're defending in depth at the moment, Palmer. Number three is Dikiara. Brawl in the Swede, back to Dikiara. Agostini, it was, making the break. And you can see just how difficult it is on this surface. They're having quite a job keeping their footing. Walter Zenga back after missing the last couple of matches through injury. Klinsman getting underneath it well. Dikiara again on the left. This is Kuogi. Now Brolin. Dikiara, spare man on the left. Good cross to the far post. Here's Osio. Benarivo, Agostini going in there, and Battistini covering at the back for Inter. Palmer using the width of both flanks with the full backs. First Dikiara on the left, then Benarivo on the right. The cross just too long and well covered by Battistini anyway. Osio with a corner. A very disappointing one it was. The rain shows no signs of abating. Benarivo. Palmer have drawn their last three matches in succession and Inter have drawn four out of their last five. 
Brolin trying to get the cross in, just too high for Osio. Apolloni, the man fouled. Grun. Cut out by Bremer. Fontalan getting it away. And Minotti covering. Here's Kuogi. A real wild goose chase for Agostini. As Ferry takes the throw. Important couple of weeks these for Walter Zenger as he looks to hold on to his place in the Italian international lineup. Foul on Klinsman there by Grun and the first yellow card of the game for Georges Grun, the Belgian. And he goes into the referee's book despite the protests of uh, Massimo Agostini. And the net result of it all is a free kick to enter. Here's Ferry. Di Chiara getting it away. Ferry covering again at the back, though. Bremer. Headed away by Kwogi. Testini, and now Di Chiara. And again the left back, Osio. Just too long when Ferry marshalling things well at the back at the moment. Here's Andreas Bremer, one of the three Germans in this inter-team. Here's another one now, Matthias. Battistini. Mateus controlling things as ever. Desideri getting it forward. So still nil-nil as Desideri takes the throw in. Fontala. Back to Desideri. Mateus gets the cross in and Fontala at the far post has scored. In to take the lead. And Lothar Mateus, the man who created it. Fontelan at the far post gets his first league goal of the season. And it's Parma nil into one. Delight for the travelling supporters. Mateus whipped in across. It was actually quite low. And the defender's foot actually lifted it up for Fontelan's header. Apolloni in doing his best to carry the ball away, in fact only succeeded in carrying it onto the striker's head. 1-0 to Inter. Here's Apolloni. Kuogi, and he's onside here, it's Agostini! Good strong tackle coming in on him from Baggio. Well, he feels a little cheated there, does Agostini. Managed to hold his footing well, the challenge clattered into him. Osio with the corner. Ferry, Klinsman chasing, Baggio giving away the free kick, here's Di Chiara on the left.
to Chiara, again getting behind the defence, and the challenge for us from Mateus. Mateus, just as influential at the back as he is up front, made the only goal of the match so far for Fontelan, and doing his work at the back as well. Apolloni. Claudio Tafarel was actually sent off at Cagliari last week. Serato. Kuogi. Brolin. The pitch really cutting up on the flanks. To Chiara. by Desideri. Kouagi wanting to take the quick free kick. And Kouagi again! And that's the equaliser! What a well-taken goal! A neat move. Played the 1-2 with Ozio. Took the return first time and lofted it over the top of Senga. It's one all. And the home fans are delighted. Watch how he hits it first time, hardly has to think about it. Seemed almost instinctive. Agostini getting the ball through. And things opening up for Brolin. Effort in the end a little disappointing, but it did take a deflection. So five minutes to half-time. And Ozio, who set up the equaliser, will take the corner. Antastini still not clear. Bremer gets it further away. Here's Minotti. Di Chiara. Doing well. Oh, this looks promising. Oh. Well, you can see from the water that splashed up as he beat the ground in frustration how difficult it is for players to keep their footing. He seemed to have done the hardest part here. He tricked Ferry, got past him, and then at the vital moment lost his footing. Bremer. Mateus. Pontelar. Oh, well, the defender put him off, but it was another good break from Inter, looking to snatch the lead as we're into injury time in this first half. Another dangerous break from the man who opened the scoring in this match. Mateus' is corner. Bremer. Oh, Klinsmann! Off the top of the crossbar. But there was an offside flag up anyway. Well, Klinsman still hasn't scored a league goal this season. I think he thought he'd put that one in the net just too high, and it wouldn't have counted anyway. Another hopeful ball for Dikiara. Well, that was the incident. He just clipped it off the edge of his right foot, did. Klinsman. It's Kuogi's throw. And it's Kuogi who's beaten the offside trap again to move in here from the left. Good tackle. Osio chasing to try and win back possession. Here's Desideri. Scoop through the middle by Zerato, but they're clearing the lines well, are Inter. Half-time 
Can't be very far away. Montanari. And that indeed is the conclusion of the first 45 minutes. So Inter took the lead thanks to Fontelan's goal after 14 minutes. But Parma equalised after a good free kick movement involving Kuwagi and Osio, which Kuwagi finished off well. Half time then, even Steven, Parma won. Into well, last season's meeting between these teams ended as a nil nil draw, and with Parma having drawn their last three successive games and Inter four out of their last five, I suppose a draw could be a banker today. But Parma pushing forward early on with Benarivo. Bremer tidies that one up. Thirty-one years old he is now. Walter Zenger won the world's best keeper award last year. And it goes back to another international goalkeeper now, Tafarel, the Brazilian. Dicciara's move cut short by Berti. Battistini and Mateus playing it between them. Dicciara. Been some good strong running by the fullback in this match. Got into a good scoring position in the first half, only to fall at the vital moment. Osio. Good long ball forward. Agostini's claiming the handball there. He thinks Bremer touched it. This is the incident, flicked up with the right boot and certainly did make contact with Bremer's right hand. Here is Bremer. And he feels hard done to now, just clipped by Agostini. I think Agostini just caught his uh, right shin. And just clipped him on the ankle. Regaining his stride. Mateus. And it'll be Mateus to take the free kick. Battistini back to Mateus. Disappointing ball from the man shortly to surrender his European Footballer of the Year title, or so we assume. Apolloni. Klinsman, he's just beyond the last line of defence, completes the formality of uh, putting the ball in the net, even though presumably he'd heard the referee's whistle. And well, the referee didn't like him doing that, he's going to get booked as a result, is Jürgen Klinsman. Still one all then. 
Perhaps Fontelan's header. Bremer. Desideri. Here's Kuogi, who scored the equaliser. Apolloni to Grun. Flick back for Rossio. He's taking it down well. Well, he chested it down beautifully, and it seemed lined up for the perfect shot. I think he hesitated momentarily there, and he just took it on the outside of his boots. Bremer. Montalan. Slipped when he seemed to have got the better of Benarivo. Benarivo trying every trick in the book to dispossess his opponent. It's Bremer with a kick, and well played. Tefferel, one of three foreign players in this Palmer side, the Belgian Grun and the Swede Prolin being the others. Tefferel. Showing his composure with that one. Mateus. Klinsman. Minotti. Tidying things up nicely at the back. Asio making another good run, always keen to get into forward positions, the big man. Still Osio waits. Brolin has pushed forward as well. Brun looking to get the cross in. It was Agostini who put in a very brave header there. To crouch down really low to get to the cross. Minotti with the throw. Kuogi. Zorato. Montanari's long clearance has Klinsman on the chase. Apolloni doing well. That's Grun, the Belgian. Minotti. Di Chiara. Brolin. Osio, his control let him down there. Mateus. Fontalan. Bremer. Bertie. And here's Fontelan, and there's Bertie, good save. Well, Nicola Bertie knows how close he was there to restoring Inter's lead. It's a good ball out to Fontelan. He's got a lot of space there, got in a good low cross, and excellent reflexes from Taffarel.
Mateus with the corner. Oh! Such composure from the goalkeeper to collect it one-handed. Ferry, I think it was, who got him with the header. But he took it out of the air as though it was a cricket ball he was catching. And Chiochi, the substitute, is going to come on, and Jürgen Klinsmann goes off looking very disappointed, and justifiably so. Menotti. Here's Osio. Kuogi. Chiara to Osio, and a good chance here, they've hit the post, it's Agostini. Osio using his height to get the flick back header. Agostini onto it like a shot. It was a good cross from the left. Osio just carried it on to his teammate, who did well to get in the shot, crashing against the woodwork. cross and it'll be Osio to take the corner very influential figure he's been this afternoon Long ball forward, headed away by Baggio. Borghi. Brolin. Battistini making the defensive challenge to keep out Di Chiara, who will take the throw. Riccardo Ferri. It's Minotti. Those defences have been remarkably composed, bearing in mind the state of the pitch. And it's the sort of pitch where defensive mistakes can cause all sorts of problems. over the free kick as the rain continues to tumble and Palmer look for an injury time winner oh and it went beyond Agostini and Fontelan got it away as far as Benarivo still they press and slip forward too far by Kuogi Zenga wanting more communication at the back. Tackle on Fontalan. Here's Zorato. Brolin. Bremer. Mateus. Battistini. 
Chiochi the substitute. And that disappointing cross from Chiochi is the last real action of the match in which the spoils are shared. Palmer one into one was, I suppose, a score that we could have expected. Inter it was who took the lead through Fontalan. Kuogi got the equaliser. Palmer's fourth successive draw 